All right, so we got this Macho Man Randy Savage A&E documentary to talk about here today. We watched uh, yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin, mm-hmm. and we watched uh, Roddy Piper, and now we've watched mm-hmm. the Macho Man Randy Savage. And uh, what a what a show this was. I have a theory about this show. All right. You What's see, that? Steve, the, the Steve Austin one was really, really good. Yes. Because Steve Austin was alive and in it. That's true. And Well, Roddy not, Piper was uh, dead and not in it, and that one was pretty good. It was okay. This there was one, lots of him in it from before he was dead. F- fair. Fair. Um, but, Let's talk about the biggest issue on this show, and okay. that is that... Uh, okay, listen, everybody. I got nothing against Kurt Hawkins, for example, okay? Sure, yes. But they needed somebody to talk about Macho Man Randy Savage's baseball career. Yes. And they chose a guy who wasn't born and who had never met the Macho Man Randy Savage who talked about his baseball career. I was like, what? The biggest And then, well, what's Rosenberg? They had had Rosenhall or Rosenberg or whatever his name is. He's one of the talking heads on this thing. When there were wrestling uh, personalities on the show, I generally enjoyed it. But so much of this program is devoted to Peter Rosenberg and Dan Soder. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, there's guy, also this other guy. Just where a guy. He, he comes on the screen, and I guess his name was Dan Soder or whatever, and they have this little blurb on the bottom. And I, I at first I thought it said WWE superstar slash actor. Yes. I was like, this guy is not a WWE superstar. So oh. I go back, and what it actually says is WWE super fan <laughs> slash actor. Yeah. Right. They got some guy that is a guy that decided, and they was like, this guy will give us some insight into Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, my point from the very beginning was, this is a documentary about the Macho Man Randy Savage, okay? Mm-hmm. One of the most famous and identifiable yes. professional wrestlers in the history of the fucking planet Earth. Absolutely. You couldn't find people to talk about the macho man Randy Savage. And so you go to random super fan, Peter Rosenblum, and then uh, Kurt Hawkins to talk about the history of his baseball career. What? The other thing, I don't know if you guys caught it, but was this just a commercial for their WWE toy line? Because oh every my time, God. if I see one more action figure, <laughs> every time see, they I, would introduce a superstar, they would cut to a picture of their action figure. Why? See, the one thing, I, the one thing I would say about the show is that even though it's a series, each episode feels like its own little standalone deal. Like we haven't done the action figure bit before, and I guarantee if we watch another one, they won't do the action figure bit next week. Maybe you're so, right. So I don't know if I guarantee that one, but I've been wrong before. But I'd be surprised. <laughs> How long is my fucking delay? This is killing the show. They, they zip through that. Yeah, and later, yeah, later, Randy does a promo and he talks about being a two-time WWF champion. And as soon as he said it, it hit me that at no point in this documentary do they talk about him winning the title either. That's time. true. That's true. <laughs> kind of think of it. There was virtually no discussion of any of his in-ring career moments. It was what he was as a character. How he looked and what happened with Liz. That was that literally was the only thing they talk about with his career is is Ricky Steamboat. Well, they yes. they talk about some of the that. early stuff, but Ricky Steamboat, Randy Savage, and other than that, there's like no mention of the WrestleMania Four tournament. There's no mention of the Mega Powers. There's no, no. mention of the retirement match with the Warrior. No. There's no mention of any of that. They just very quickly rush to it's it's all about him and Liz and the storylines involving him and Liz and that's it. Lance is doing his online coaching service <laughs> as he reviews and critiques the Battle of the Empire. This match is reminiscent of Flair Steamboat. Unfortunately, it's Vic Steamboat and David yes. Flair. Oh, terrible. And then again, this is what threw me because that is not a particularly babyface thing to do. I wouldn't say we were both heels, but I, I could argue we were both unlikable. 
<laughs> <laughs> and to this day. Cardio and lack of interest is a big part. I think Orange Cassidy has told his gimmick from Vinny. Look at the cover of this DVD. It's one of my favorite photos of myself I've ever taken. And it is absolutely Orange Cassidy. You do look vocal. exactly like Orange Cassidy, just much yes. larger. Yes, and worse. Watch Vinny's head <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> bounce off the mat when he misses this elbow. Face the wrong way. Oh, God. <laughs> Putting your own how, move on How disgraceful you. to put the, the man behind figure four in a figure four. This was really well done here at the end, though. You hit this so dead perfect in the middle. Not that chop, though. No. No! You need the flailing because there needs to be energy to the spot because it's supposed to be fun. The crowd wants to be excited, so someone has to display energy, and it's not going to be the man in the ring. <laughs> oh, no, you. don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> Vinny you fool! Pose. I got a little else to say. It's not very good. I miss chopping people. Wasn't the best match of all time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you got five stars. Could probably take some lessons from Miz on how to work. Oh, get out of here. If you're out there listening and you would like Lance to uh, review one of your matches, much like he did to ours here, how do they do this, Lance? They can email me at swavirtualtraining at gmail.com. As I mentioned, the price is uh, 125 US for a single session. Uh, 300 for three. So again, SWA virtual training at gmail.com. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.